Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. Now take two. I messed up the first introduction. Um today we are back with another viewer suggestion. Now, um this comment here. We had two suggestions in here. We already did the first one. We did uh Reddit stupidest arguments. Arguments. Uh now we're looking at the second one. This one is called Twitter forgetting the names of everyday things now we know that reddit can be a bit um unique let's call it that um but twitter is also pretty close i think that should be quite a treat quite the enjoyment um oh no what did, what did i do there you go so um this video is how long is it four minutes yeah it's a bit of a shorter one but We'll, we'll still have fun, I'm sure. Uploaded it around two years ago. There was a bit of the older one, probably also older posts from a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, let's see if Matt can entertain us once again. As always, link to the original video is in the description. He is getting very close to 1 million. Maybe even this month. If not this month, then I'm sure he's going to crack it in November. If you want to support him, Subscribe to his channel and like his videos because he really deserves it. All right. Um, let me reposition my microphone a little bit. I think I need to get a bit closer. Okay, let's start. My husband's co-worker couldn't think of the word cow a few years ago and instead oh, called them okay. wild beef. This wild. Wait, why? Why wild? I can understand calling them beef, but wild beef? Because they're not prepackaged in the supermarket or what? This comment spawned the Reddit Wild Beef, a place for those names that you give things when you've forgotten their a actual fucking names. subreddit, just because of that. If you can't think what a carousel what? is called, for instance. A horse to... That would be the last thing I would choose to describe a carousel. A horse tornado. What? How is any how is anyone gonna understand what you actually mean by that? Or tree wrapping if you can't remember the name for bark. These are all well and good, but what? I prefer catching my wild beef free range. So, as ever, I look to Twitter, which did have quite a lot of these. So, to stop this video going on too long, I'm simply going to read them out until we hit a skull emoji. And that is where this oh. video will end. Enjoy. Okay. the name for paperback, so I said flaccid book. Someone sedate me for... Flaccid book. Yo, what? Got what a forearm was called, and all I could come up with was arm calf. Couldn't remember what, what Breaking Bad was called a while ago, so instead just blurted out Walter's World. Sam what? What? Walter's World. What? Why would you call it? We could just say the Crystal Math Show or show with Walter White in it. Walter's world. That sounds like some really fucking atrocious theme park. What the? World. Sam just forgot the name for an analog stick and called it a movement wiggler. Forgot what a baguette was <laughs> called. I'm gonna buy a bread. Uh, long. Couldn't remember the word. Okay. Awkward, but you can kind of understand. If you if you tell them I'm gonna buy this the, the very long bread, I guess they could kind of understand what you mean. For dairy, so I called it a cow brewery. Forgot what a what? cow was called, so I called it a milk moose. I forgot the name. Wait, 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 wait. Forgot what a cow was called, so I called it a milk moose. What? I forgot the name for a double bass, so instead my brain gave me mega violin. I what? I forgot the name for donuts once and asked for a sexy bagel. Ah. A fucking sexy bagel. 
Why is it sexy? What? A sexy bagel. I've heard it all. A sexy bagel. Oh my god. What? What part of that is sexy? The worst is they probably still didn't understand what the hell you meant. They just thought you were a weirdo. Bra. One of the guys I used to work with forgot the name for a tape measure called a how far machine. Couldn't. Me a how far machine. Amazing. No, I definitely know what you meant by that. How far machine? Couldn't remember the name for acapella, so I just called it singing raw, shaking my head. Martin couldn't remember <laughs> what a nightstand was called, so he called it a side island. Oh, cool. Sir, a what? My part. A. A side island. Wow. What? My partner forgot the name for Hogwarts and instead called it Dumbledore's University Castle. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of funny. Forgot the name for Ink and called it Pen Source. Pen Source. Evan forgot the name oh, for Aluminum my. Foil and called it Floppy Metal Paper. I've been feeling so out of it these days that I forgot <laughs> what a beanbag was called and had to Google chair. That is a sack. Momentarily forgot. I mean, beanbag is a bit of a weird term. In the first place, isn't it? Got the name for a watering can and called it the rain bucket. Forgot the name for rafters, so I called them the house roll bars. I forgot <laughs> what a drill was called and said a fucking screwdriver gun. A screwdriver gun. Wow. That sounds like like something you would craft in one of those survival games. A fucking screwdriver gun. But that sounds kind of cool, to be honest. Face palm. Ugh. Just forgot the name for brothers, younger boy children. What? <laughs> younger boy children. Bro, you could have just said male sibling. Younger boy children. Younger boy children. <laughs> My wow. husband was trying to talk about Shrek, but he couldn't remember Shrek's name. Sh what? Shrek, thanks. So he called him Summertime Grinch. Like <laughs> the Summertime Grinch. I don't think Shrek has been assault insulted like that before. Summertime Grinch. Wow. Okay, so now we have Wintertime Grinch, we have Summertime Grinch, now we still need two more for Fall and Spring, I guess. Last night, I forgot the name for Peacock and Spiled. Okay. Beautiful bird, male show-off bird. Beaut male show-off bird. Wow. Beautiful bird show-off? Um, pheasant? I just forgot. They tried and eventually just gave up. I just forgot the name for Beanie Babies and all I could. Beanie Babies. Nah, let me let me. What the hell? Line of stuff toys created by American businessmen in Taiwan. get any pictures here ah ah okay because i've seen them before but i had no idea they had like their own name or brand behind it okay all I could come up with was come up with was belly beans what's called Belly beans. I mean, to be fair, beanie baby sounds a bit. What? Beans. What's called deal or no deal? Have I got a box? Mum forgot the name for. Have. Have I got a box? 
Have I got a box? Okay. To box. Mum forgot the name for Griso and just called them Italian slicky boys. I once forgot the name for a what? urinal when trying to tell a staff member in the restaurant I was in that theirs was overflowing. I called oh, it a no. pop. Totally forgot the name. Oh. Ah. Uh, that is pain. Ah. Uh. But you did help. You did let them know. That's at least something. Came for an airport today and called it the plane station. Just kick me out of uni. I mean, come on. That is not that bad. Air plane station. I mean, come on. That's not that bad. Out of uni. Help! My dad forgot the name for bread, so he said raw toast. I raw. He forgot the name for bread, but he did not forget the name of a toast. Wow. Your dad has quite the interesting priorities. Got really high last night and forgot the name for toast, so I kept calling it crunchy bread. Yo, he's the, he's the exact opposite. He forgot what toast is named, but remembered bread. Crunchy bread. Bread. I forgot it was called prostate exam. At the ass, dog. What? Forgot the word for at the ass doc What? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I forgot it was called prostate exam. At the ass doctor. What? Ass doctor. For Wait. Say it again, Matt. One more time. Ass doctor. Forgot. Mmm. Nice. Thank you. The word for accent, so I called it a voice font. A, vo a voice font. Wow. What do you guys think? Would what accent would be Comic Sans as a font? That's the one I'm really interested in. Voice font. Oh, that is fucking unique. Voice font. I forgot the name for shot glass and instead said, where's my little beaker? I forgot the name for what? leaves, so I confidently called them fall flowers. Fucking forgot what a pregnancy test was called and called it a birth detector. Nah. That's still okay. In my opinion, that's still okay. Forgot the name for ground beef the other day, so I just called it Meat Crumble. Couldn't remember the name Ooh. for I Spy, so I called it a Do You See What I See? My grandma forgot the name for raccoons ah. and described them as the robber animal. You know. The bandits of the woods. The only Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, good save, Grandma. I thought we were gonna go like some uh, some racial stereotypes or something. Wow. No, bandits of the woods. Fiona and I couldn't remember the name for Mount Rushmore. Big American okay. heads? I couldn't remember what a sweet tooth was called, and I said sugar bone, my f A sugar bone. Friend forgot the name what? for seashosses and called, called them dragon shrimp. A to be fair, dragon shrimp si sounds kind of badass. Like, if I was an animal... And I would be called a dragon shrimp. I wouldn't be that bothered by it, you know. Stephanie Cortez, MD, forgot the name for the Grand Canyon during an interview, so mm -hmm. said the place in Arizona with a hole in the ground. Today I. Oh. Ah. I forgot what a face palm was called. What okay. is it called when you hit your forehead? The most common type of head injury is a concussion. <laughs> Yo, Google's just trying to be helpful, you know? She was thinking face palm, Google was like, nah, that's a concussion, bro. <laughs> Go to the doctor. Couldn't remember the name for churros and had to Google Mexican sugar-coated tubes. I forgot the name for seasonal affective disorder and called it... Seasonal affective disorder. Okay, uh-huh. The night crazies. I forgot... 
What? Yo, I swear this sounds like some some girl band in like the I don't know, like early 2000s or 90s or something. The Night Crazies. <laughs> what the fuck? Crazies. I forgot the name for Mimosa, so I googled white woman brunch drink and found it. And you found, <laughs> you found it. <laughs> you know, if it works, if it works, that's all that matters, right? You did something really weird. But it worked. You found it. Woman brunch drink and found it. My <laughs> beer forgot the name for a macaroon and called it a fruit okay. pancake hamburger. Oh. Gollum mode. Oh no. Hamburger. Fruit pancake hamburger. What? Now that is a term I have never heard in my life before. A fruit pancake hamburger. That's impressive. No one else is going to come up with that. Good job. I don't think anyone is going to come up with something like that. That's going to be your... Your unique term that no one else is going to get. Root pancake hamburger. Damn. Imagine telling your friends like, okay, today I'm going to make some fruit pancake hamburgers. And everyone's like, what? What's that? Then you bring out the macarons and everyone's like, huh? You're going to be unique as hell, bro. Okay, that was... That was a good decent one. A couple of brain fonts there as well. Like how 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 can you remember what toast is called? Wait, what was that? What did my windows do just now? Yo, please be quiet. I'm recording right now, okay? Thank you, bro. Like how can you remember what toast is called, but not what bread is called? That's that's cool. That's crazy. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm trying to think if I had something like that. Like, I'm sure I did. But right now, at the top of my head, I, I can't think of anything. Hmm, no, not, not really. I'm sure there's been a bunch of things that I, that I forgot like that in the past. But right now, I can't really think of them. I don't know, guys, did you have something like that? Did you have, like... A brain fart moment we just forgot the name of something normal you use every day if you did and you do actually recall what it was let me know in the comments if you did enjoy this video and you have suggestions for other videos feel free to let me know i always welcome those i always appreciate those very much and yeah i hope you guys have a great day i hope i see you in the next video or during one of my live streams and have a great day. Take care. Thanks for watching and bye.